Hello YouTubers, it's Sarah Strange and Shirt here and today I'm going to be talking about high-low dresses. I love high-low dresses if you haven't really picked up on that one. Anyway, for those of you that don't know, high-low dresses are the dresses that are high, aka short in the front, and long, long in the back. And they're becoming more of a trend. I'm seeing them more and more, which makes me so happy. I just want to buy them all. Today I'm going to be talking about where you can wear high-low dresses, how you can wear them, how you can accessorize them, and a lot of fun things you can do. So, Okay. So, first high-low dress. I haven't worn this one out yet. I'm going to be wearing it to a wedding. And I love it because it's a layered high-low. It's got a cami underneath that you wear. It's kind of like a slip. And it's layered here and here. They just kind of fold over each other. I also love it because where it hangs down in the back, it's kind of sheer, if you can't tell, where the cami ends. And you can kind of just see a little bit of peak of the legs when light shines. And I think that's totally adorable. I paired it with a belt that I have, just one of the brown braided belts that I love, if you haven't seen my video. And um, I put the buckle on the side because I didn't like it in the middle. To me, that just draws too much attention. I didn't like the look of that. But if you put the buckle to the side, which is something I do with different outfits, I think it looks cute. It's just got a little pop of gold in it with the brown. I wear brown shoes with these. They're a very neutral color. And uh, so yeah, it actually came felt. That's this thing dangling that I haven't taken off yet. But I really like the thicker belt to kind of accentuate the waistline. So, that's the first high-low dress, and then we'll show you guys in there. It's very pretty with the colors. It just reminded me of watercolor, and I love watercolor. So, on to the next one. Next one! Okay, so this one is an adjustable high-low. I have pulled the straps to their tightest because it is a very long high-low. I suppose taller people would really appreciate this. I should probably be wearing a nude colored bra, but I didn't feel like changing it, so excuse my inappropriate attire. Anyway, this is a very casual high-low that I paired with another belt, a little bow belt, again, to cinch my waist a little bit. And as you can see, it is very long, as I said. This would be a great one to wear with heels, because I have the straps, they're very short. It's I can't pull this sucker up any higher, and I can usually walk with sandals very cautiously, but with heels, there's no problem. So you could dress it up or dress it down with heels, like any other high-low, to based on your day-to-day -day needs. And you see, swoosh. <laughs> anyway, so that's high-low number two, and that's how I accessorized it. Something I haven't talked about yet is hair. As you can see, I just kind of have a messy bun going on. Even that's cute. If you're just going out for a little bit, you can have a messy bun. You know, it shows that you're not super overtly trying to dress up, even though I love wearing high lows and people ask me, why are you wearing that? What's a special occasion? I'm like, every day is a special occasion. But really, now you can just back it up with my hair look like it's a special occasion. Anyway, so basically that's how you can do hair. If not, I also like the look of long hair with high lows. It kind of keeps that flowy, long look. If you don't have long hair, that's cool too. But I like having my hair down as well. Or you can curl it. I love curling my hair. I'm going to shut up because I'm sure all of you know how to do your hair. So, on to the third one. Again, you guys are going to have to excuse my inappropriate bra straps. With this one, I would probably wear a black bra or a nude bra would work just as well. I don't have any green bras. Maybe I should put vest. Anyway, so this one does not have any accessories because it's got a little bit, it's, I want to say crocheted, but it's not. It's kind of just braided. And uh, I love it, love it. If I had to pick a favorite, I'd probably pick this one. This was my first high-low dress and I was so excited. What I also love, love, love about this is how it's got cutouts. It's cute, it's sexy in a good way. It's not up in your face like, hey, check out my bare skin. 
but it does have the bare skin showing, and I you can see my tattoo a little bit. <laughs> Love my tattoo. So, this is it, again. Flats or heels, your choice. This one's not as long, thank goodness. And I just love this one. I wear it everywhere. I have black gladiators I wear with that. And uh, wait one second, I'll get it for you. Okay. These are the shoes I wear with them, little gladiators. I got them for about $20, and I wear them everywhere. They have done me very well. And if you want to see how that looks. So it's very cute, it's simple, I can just wear them to go if I want accessorize. I just wear, I have gold bangles, I do gold accents. I think that goes very well with this olive color or pink. Anyway, so those are my high lows. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope if you were skeptical about high lows, now you definitely want to get one. And if you have any questions, comments, or ways that you wear your high lows, please message me, tell me, inbox response. Everything's appreciated. So I will see you guys next time.